Hi, this video is going to show you after you buy our TV box how to do all the basic setting from us. Okay, if you buy TX6 from us, okay, I use TX6 as an example, as an example to teach you guys how to do the basic setting. Okay, this is what you will get from our package. Okay, a UK plug power adapter. Oh, HDMI wire and one basic remote control. This is what you will get. Okay, do remember first use our power plug. Okay, use our power plug and then don't use other people's power plug. It will burn your TV box. Okay, do remember this. And then if you have your own HDMI wire, then you own use use your own HDMI wire. If you don't have then, then then you use our HDMI wire. Okay. Then after that then uh, you have to Put in the battery for your basic remote control. Okay, put in the battery here. Okay, uh, this is your basic remote control you will get. Okay, and then uh, now I'm going to teach you how the connection. Okay, first you have to power on your TV box. Okay, after the power adapter connect here. Okay, after connect then uh, power on. After power on you see this. Okay, already turned on. After that then you connect with your HDMI wire. Okay. This uh, HDMI wire, one side here, and then the other side connect with your TV. The other side connect with your TV. This side connect with TV. Okay, if you have a network cable, then you use your network cable. Uh, then do remember, please use a uh, Cat6 network cable. Okay, this is Cat6 network cable. Connect here. If you don't have network cable, never mind. You can use the TV box to connect with your Wi Fi. If you buy a air mouse with us, okay. If you buy a, a keypad or air mouse with us, okay, you will get this uh, uh, dongle from the air mouse, okay. I have the keypad, and then you just connect here, okay. So it's done. All the connection is done. Okay, after connect everything, power on, connect to TV. This is what you will get in your TV box home screen. First of all, the TV box you have to put in the cool surface. Okay, don't put in the hot surface because hot surface will affect their processing speed. So you may experience a lagging if, if the TV box go hot. Okay, after that, uh, then um, if you want to shut down your TV box, okay, the power button here. Okay, you need to long press the power button, this button. Okay, if you turn one time, then the TV box only will go to sleep mode. If go to sleep mode, Tomorrow, then you turn it on again, wake up the TV box, and then you may experience lagging also. So, you need to long press the power button. You will see this long press power button. So, the screen will off like that. this uh, after you power off the TV box. Okay, now I restart the TV box again. Okay, now the TV box is uh, restarted. Okay, if you only press one time, then the TV box will go to sleep mode. Okay, now I show you press one time. Okay, so uh, this is a sleep mode. Okay, if you press on button again, then it will go back to the screen you play just now. Okay, so this is sleep mode. Uh, also, there is a mouse cursor button here. This mouse cursor button. Okay, if you misclick the mouse cursor button, this will show up. Okay, so now you are in the mouse mode. So you are able to use the mouse cursor by using up, down, left, right. Okay, if you are in the mouse mode, other button may not able to use. Okay, you need to turn off your mouse button by press the same button again to turn off the mouse like this. Okay, so now exit the mouse mode already. So now using like a basic remote control without mouse. Okay, now uh, from uh, this video, I'm going to show you by using this mouse. Okay, you using any computer mouse. Okay, or you buy a air mouse from us. Okay, also able to use mouse like this. So it's easier to operate your Android box by using air mouse or computer mouse. Now, first step, we go to setting here, setting, and then connect with Wi-Fi. Okay, setting. Here, you're looking for network and internet. Okay, it will scan your Wi-Fi. Okay, 
after that then you click your Wi-Fi and key in your password so now your Wi-Fi is connected okay you see this is the connection button here this okay this is means that is connected with the Wi-Fi already now here the Wi-Fi signal here means connected with Wi-Fi if anything go wrong with your TV box do remember that don't reset your Android box okay if uh, you do factory reset at this uh, here you press the reset button here if reset that means all the pre-installed apps will be gone uh, you back to the factory setting then without any apps inside also from the device preference here you can set your date and time your language or Malay language or Chinese language uh, is available in, in this box okay and also your sound output your check your st storage here uh, all is here lah. okay and then uh, you also do the account sign in account sign in means to sign in your google account so this google account will enable you to use the google play store here we back to home screen now okay home screen here okay you can put your favorite apps here okay uh, just an example you click the add button okay if you like uh, 6 tv then you click 6 tv if you like live net tv you click live net tv okay after add then these favorite apps will show in this row after you add in, in uh, your, your favorite apps you show in this row okay you can go netflix youtube google chrome play store here after you log in your google account if you are looking for other apps there is a apps list here okay go in apps list okay all the pre-installed apps will be inside the apps list okay if you are facing that the apps is asking you to update then just update it but don't update netflix netflix is asking for update don't update if cody asks for update don't update also okay if update after update then cody and netflix cannot run in other version okay only run in the version we install for you so these two apps do remember do not update sometime after choosing the video okay you will see this asking to you to choose the link one two three four okay you can choose number one to number four if one is not working then you choose number two if two is not working then you choose number three and okay after you choose mx player then you click it as always lah sometime an uh, advertisement will come out like this okay what you need to do is just wait until the advertisement finish and then you go to the cross button and click cross close it okay if uh, you don't have mouse then you have to press the u-turn button from the remote control here here is the u-turn button you click this okay and then the s will go and then you will continue with your okay this is just an uh, example uh, to play the golf channels here okay now i teach you next this uh, android box if you connect with your keyboard you also can use the type function if you install google assistant if you have a voice search air mouse okay install google assistant then you can use a voice search to search the program you want also okay do remember that this uh, add-on update don't update the add-on if not all the Kodi we pre Kodi program we pre-install for you it will be gone don't update the add-on from here if the apps ask you to allow to access your android box then then you just press allow if the apps is asking this uh, disclaimer accept you just accept choose a subtitle language okay you can choose your subtitle is either uh, majority is uh, english or chinese lah. okay and i choose uh, english okay then you are able to start to play the video by a subtitle english if the app is asking for update okay beside Kodi and netflix the other apps also can uh, uh, update you just click install or update okay from here and then okay update it then you have to pull it as a allow okay or install unknown apps here you all put into allow so 
next time it can update if uh, any update available you just put all as allowed here okay done and then again press for update so if you update from the behind okay so okay uh, this is the installation process lah. after install okay and then you have to click install okay after install then this apps already update and press done is done and then you press open means to open this apps again okay let's say i press open so it come back to these apps if sometime after you use for a while there is a lot of notification will come out from here okay a lot of notification then you code can go to setting to off all the notification okay go to setting here go to setting here and then uh, you go to apps okay see which apps is giving you a lot of notification let's say okay you want to turn off btv notification you go in btv and then the notification here you turn it off so it will turn off the notification so this will improve your tv box speed also if you feel lagging you also can go to here or oh, at left side okay if you go by remote control go at the left side there is a dustbin here okay click the dustbin and then if you clear all the cache all the background running program inside this tv box to improve your tv box speed if you want to plug in your pen drive and then to see the movies from your pen drive or your external hard disk you can play from uh, either ex file explorer or file manager here okay go in the file manager if you have pen drive plug in the pen drive you have c another pen your pen drive name here and then from here to access your pen drive and then uh in, uh, can access your phone uh your photo your uh movies all here okay that's it for our android box thank you for watching